Feel like you should be taking a break from all the murder? Here are the seven best games to play if you can't stop listening to true crime podcasts. If you're not spending your commute with stories of nefariousness, are you even on a train or bus at all? True crime podcasts are experiencing a serious zeitgeist, but what if you want to switch things up and take your investigations to the next level? Well, this list is the perfect way to up your justice game, take notes, and avoid making bloodied footprints in crime scenes. Did you read the case file? There are plenty of detective video games already out there. We've even made a helpful list before. But these are the ones that should appeal the most to serial and my favourite murder listeners, exercising those logical minds and testing that forensic knowledge. Here, in no particular order, is your hit list of the best games if you just can't stop listening to true crime podcasts. Quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Sure, some of the best bits about listening to true crime podcasts are the OMG this actually happened moments, but it's also about the lives suddenly sneaking into your ears. The gradually unravelling stories of humans just like us who ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Telling Lies from Sam Barlow scratches exactly that slightly voyeuristic itch as you investigate the lives of four people via a laptop full of stolen video footage. Piecing together the jigsaws of their stories by watching these files and, most importantly, working out who is telling the truth, hence those titular lies, makes this a masterpiece of clues and perception. We won't go any further as it would spoil the investigation, but this and Sam Barlow's previous FMV packed Her Story are essential experiences for those who just can't stop looking into the horribly human darkness to see exactly what's hiding in there. I like girls with nice smiles. Okay, first off, just to be clear, we're not saying that murder is funny. But sometimes, when it comes to horrible things, laughter truly is the best medicine. And that's exactly what raises the point-and-click Tangle Tower above the deadly competition. This sequel to Detective Grimoire sees you unravelling the mystery of a murder where the only suspect is a painting, thanks to some very real blood on a very fake knife. Murderinos will get along swimmingly with the sarcasm and wit of Grimoire and Sally as they sleuth their way around the mysterious and beautiful tower. Like your favourite crimey listenables, the plot here only thickens. And thankfully, the puzzles at work are never going to break your brain with tenuousness or tedium. Everyone here is voice too, and you'll find yourself clicking on everything in sight, not just to make sure you're not missing vital clues, but also to hear what everyone has to say. I locked myself in my room and cried. There are loads of reasons L.A. Noir could happily exist on a list like this. This setting is perfect if you love true crime, set as it is in what feels like the spiritual home of the genre. It conjures images of pulpy 40s Hollywood crime mags, administrative conspiracy and real-life police procedurals. But the game really comes to life when you reach the homicide desk and come into contact with Garrett Mason, who, in the world of L.A. Noir, is responsible for the Black Dahlia murder, officially the City of Angels' coldest IRL case. It's the sort of investigation you can utterly immerse yourself in, and it provides an unflinching, often shocking, portrayal of one of the most famous murder cases of all time. It's so savage, in fact, that we can't even show it to you here in any detail. But if you have even a passing interest in the case or the setting, it's worth picking up L.A. Noir and slogging past patrol and traffic bits just so you can go full hard-boiled detective. Glad you have my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Of course, the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney trilogy is in here. What else could be more fun for those of us who have seen far too many Forensic Files episodes than finding holes in nefarious villains' testimonies? The nice thing too about Mr. Wright's adventures is just how concise each mini-case is. Like short, quick-fire podcasts like Criminal, the miniature misdemeanors at work here are speedy hits of the justice system. Ideal for a small session or just mainlining all at once. Everything is here, from autopsy reports and murder weapons to picking holes in defendant testimonies. The truth is always hidden in plain sight. You just need to find it.
As a consumer of true crime media, this is what you were always meant to do. And there's something truly satisfying about finding the truth. When all seems like it's lost, there's nothing like that penny dropping and the case turning on its head as you uncover a vital clue. No objections here, Your Honour. Well, only the right kind. Objection! When you think of true crime, your mind probably goes to modern-day small-town America. But our old favourite Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments, takes elements that make the genre so fascinating evidence, motive, opportunity and so forth, and dresses them in bold Victorian trimmings. As Holmes, you have to explore crime scenes, compile evidence and perform interviews. Once you've gathered the facts, it's up to you to come to the correct conclusion. And because of this, it's possible, and sometimes likely, you'll get things wrong, which feels very relevant for a list like this. It's not as gritty as you might be used to, but it's not cartoonish either. The victims and killers feel like real people with their own backstories, and these characterful elements have a huge impact on how you make your deductions. If you fancy a true crime experience that's more sitting by a warm fire gathering facts than it is searching frozen trash bags for lost body parts, then Sherlock Holmes' Crime and Punishments is a cosy, cerebral treat. Ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. If you fancy a history lesson at the same time as solving some hard-boiled crime with a brilliant bass soundtrack, then there's nothing quite like a case of distrust. As P.I. Phyllis Cadence Malone, this is your chance to explore San Francisco in 1924, a city in the midst of prohibition and plagued with underground crime. Yes, it's all reading instead of listening, but this is a truly immersive narrative adventure that immediately surrounds you with the issues of the day without feeling like you're in a dull lecture. Even every taxi ride between locations is packed with interesting snippets of conversation, creating a believable, living city outside of the artful illustrations and brilliant transitions. Clearly researched as well as your favourite pods, A Case of Distrust is a constant education in 20s America, simultaneously dragging you into an intriguing mystery and delivering just the right level of backstory for your troubled P.I. Just leave the 11am whiskey drinking to her. There's something truly fascinating about unsolved cold cases, as any listener of Someone Knows Something will attest. The Paines Creek Killings is a first-person mystery game that focuses on a murder that's not so much cold as glacial. As upcoming journalist Janet, you have to explore the abandoned town of Paines Creek and unpick the mystery surrounding a murder that happened there years ago. And over the course of 10 hours or so, you'll gradually uncover a truth the residents intended to bury. There's absolutely no hand-holding here. You'll need to take actual notes, make your own deductions and be patient. That sets it apart from so many other detective and mystery games in that you'll only solve the mystery of Payne Creek if you put the time and effort in. In fact, it's even possible to get back in your car and drive away, leaving the mystery firmly in the unsolved case pile. Put in the time and effort though, and this is as close to starring in your own true crime podcast as you'll find in any game. So that's the seven games you should line up to play once you've had your hit of true crime podcasts. Let us know if we've missed your villainous favourites in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more criminally good videos just like this one. If you do already subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.